Hello, and welcome to Get More Math. Get More Math is a program that you are going to use for practicing math problems. It won't be teaching you new things, but it's going to help you remember the math that you've already learned, because it is so easy to forget if you don't practice. In this video, we are going to go over the basics of the student interface of Get More Math to help you get started. This is how a student screen might look when they first log in. Each of the squares up near the top represents a different type of math problem, what we call a skill. Your teacher adds all of these skills, and they will all be things that you've already learned. Notice that all three squares are red. All brand new skills start out as red. The blue outline around the square means that this is a skill that is currently selected. I can choose to work on a different skill as long as a dollar sign appears on the square. Here, I have a problem where I'm adding fractions. Another problem is asking me to classify a triangle. And in my original problem, I need to identify the value of this plotted point. If I get this problem correct, notice that smiley faces fall and I earn a point. To earn points and get more math, you must answer the problem correctly on the first try. The square of that skill that I answered correctly is now faded and I can no longer choose that skill to work on. You may only work on problems that have a dollar sign. These are problems that are worth a point. With most types of homework assignments, you only find out what you got wrong after it's been graded. Get More Math lets you know right away if you've got something wrong so that you have the chance to fix your mistakes. When I get a problem incorrect, notice the message in the gray ribbon, a purple dot shows up in the answer box, and a red outline now appears around the square. I'll need to look over my work, try to find my mistake, and fix my answer. But notice that I didn't earn a point here because Get More Math only awards points if you get a dollar sign problem correct on the very first try. Now I've been given a fresh problem, practicing the same skill to show that I understand how to do the problem. Getting this one correct on the first try, I'll earn a point. I'm currently working in an assignment. I can determine this by identifying the name of the assignment and my progress on completing the assignment in the box located in the center of my dashboard. By using the Change Assignment button, I also have the opportunity to switch to any incomplete assignments or to switch to Mixed Review, depending on what my teacher has allowed me to have access to. You can also go to your Assignments history to see past assignments. If the Change Assignment button is gray and you can't click on it, that might mean that you've completed all of your assignments, or it could mean that your teacher has turned off the option to switch between Assignments and Mixed Review. Let's go ahead and switch to Mixed Review. Notice the box in the center of my dashboard now shows that I'm working in Mixed Review. Here, you will be able to practice the skills that your teacher has assigned to you throughout the entire year. As you continue to practice and get problems correct, your skills will go up levels. We use colors to indicate different levels of mastery. As a reminder, all new skills will start out as red. On the first day of practicing a skill, you can see red squares level up to yellow. And as you continue earning points in Mixed Review, you'll have the opportunity to level up even further to Green, Silver Star, and even Gold Star. You can see that some of the skills have dollar signs on them, while others do not. Dollar sign skills are ones that Get More Math thinks are best for you to work on right now. Maybe they're brand new, maybe you haven't done them in a while, or maybe you often make mistakes on them. As a reminder, if a skill has a dollar sign, that means that you can earn a point by answering that question correctly on the first try. After you do a problem and get it correct, Get More Math recalculates which skills get to have dollar signs on them. And it might even move that one that you just answered to a higher skill level by changing its color. Get More Math will also select a new skill for you to begin working on. You'll notice every time I click away from a square, it gains an orange triangle in one corner. If I do this four times, Get More Math won't let me click away anymore. I have to work on this problem. When answering multiple choice questions, fixing mistakes works a bit differently. When I get this multiple choice problem wrong, I get something called a penalty. You will only earn penalties on multiple choice questions, on skills that you've shown progress and understanding. In order to earn any points, I will first need to remove any penalties. So, as usual, I need to fix my mistake. But even after I do that, I still have a penalty on this problem. To get rid of my penalty, I have to get this problem right on the very first try. This is to show Get More Math that I know what I'm doing. I'm not just randomly guessing. If I get the question wrong another time, I've earned another penalty. 
as long as there's a penalty on this problem, I can't get any points for doing it right. So I'm going to have to complete that skill again, answering correctly on the first try, until all of my penalties have been cleared. If I get this problem correct, I'm finally able to earn a point. Now that we covered the basics, let's take a look at some additional features of Get More Math. Sometimes in math, you need to use notation that's not on your keyboard, like a fraction or an exponent. In Get More Math, all of the symbols that you will ever need are found right under your answer box. Notice by clicking this button, I'm now able to enter a fraction. If you can't find the notation that you need under your answer box, you should be able to find it on your keyboard. If you're using Get More Math on a mobile device, such as a phone or a tablet, the way you enter answers is a little bit different. Right under the answer box to the left, there are three things that you can select. The number sign contains all the numbers, symbols, and letters that you'll use most frequently. The X squared button leads to fractions, exponents, and more. Finally, the ABC button pulls up your device's keyboard. This will be especially helpful for when you're entering a label for a word problem. Another thing to be aware of when using Get More Math on a phone is that all of your colored squares are automatically collapsed. If you want to see them, just tap the white arrow near the top right of your screen. It's always important to read the questions and get more math very carefully before you answer them. Some problems will require you to enter your answer in a certain way, like as a fraction or as a decimal rounded to a certain place. Also, when you're doing a word problem, make sure to look at the answer box and pay attention to whether or not a label is required. Some questions in Get More Math will require you to draw a graph as a part of your answer. So check out our tutorial on how to graph in Get More Math to learn more. On the dashboard at the top of your screen, you'll be able to see your points for the day as well as your points for the week. You'll also be able to keep track of your progress towards getting game credits. You will receive game credits by earning points in Get More Math. I'll explain more about these a little later. You'll also see four lines in the top right corner of your dashboard. When you click on the four lines, you open up the student menu. From here, you can change various settings. For example, you can choose whether or not the smileys fall when you answer a problem correctly, or maybe you'd like to change the theme color of your account. You can also view your statistics, both overall and for the particular skill you're currently working on. By looking at the calendar, you'll be able to see your data for each day, week, and month of the year. This is also where you'll go to spend your game credits. Each credit earns 90 seconds of game time. Your teacher gets to decide both what games are available and how many points you need in order to earn a game credit. Beware, when you log out, Get More Math will only save up to two game credits, so it's a good idea to use them as you earn them. You might be wondering what to do if you get stuck. Well, if you can't figure out a problem on your own, you're probably going to have to get some help from your teacher. Make sure to ask about the hardest problems when your teacher is available to help you. If your teacher is online at the same time that you are, you can click on the raised hand button in the top right, and your teacher can message you through Get More Math in order to help you out. However, Get More Math doesn't allow students to send messages back to their teachers. So you need to make sure that you have a good way to communicate with your teacher outside of Get More Math. Two good options for this are email and video chat. If your teacher is not online, Get More Math allows you to skip a limited number of problems when you're working in mixed review. Get More Math will change the color of your skip skills to gray. It may be helpful to either write down or take a screenshot of the problem that you are stuck on so that you can get help when your teacher is available. Also, when your teacher isn't online, the four corner rule won't apply. So you can click away from a problem as many times as you'd like. But keep in mind, this only works if your teacher is offline. Congratulations, you made it to the end of this tutorial. I hope that this has been helpful and that you'll enjoy using Get More Math.